Okay, so example one for the limit of a function. What is the limit as x approaches three of the function x squared plus x minus 12 over x minus three? So in this chapter, you're going to solve limits by uh, two different approaches. So you could either graph the function and then see it visually what it's approaching or you could use a table of values. So for this example, let's first, uh, let's do it by graphing. So we'll have to graph this, this function here. So y is equal to x squared plus x minus 12 over x minus three. This is a, uh, a rational function. So if you remember from um, advanced functions, we can factor the, uh, the numerator, so that'll just equal x plus four times x minus three over x minus three. The x minus threes cancel out. That means there's a hole at an x value of three. And after the x minus threes cancel out, we're just left with x plus four. So we got to graph this line y equals x plus four and there will be a hole at x equals three. So x plus four, there's just a y-intercept at four. There's an x-intercept at negative four. And when we draw this line, we also have to remember that at three, actually let's keep the three a little closer right here. At, at an x value of three, there's a hole. So it's just a line like that. And then this, this hole, uh, it's, at a it's at a y value of seven. If we plug in three for our x. So this line is undefined at a value, at an x value of three and a y value of seven, but we're still finding the limit as x approaches three of this function that we just graphed here. So we have to find first the one-sided limits. So let's find the limit as x approaches three from the negative side of this function, x squared plus x minus 12 over x plus three. And what does it equal? Well, as we're approaching three, from the left side, what's the y value approaching of the function? It's approaching seven. Okay, it doesn't equal seven, but it's approaching seven, and that's all that matters. And then the limit, as x approaches three from the right side of x squared plus x minus 12 over x plus three, well, as we approach x from the right side, what does the y value approach of this function on the graph? Well, the y value approach is seven as well. So it's equal to seven. So since the limit as x approaches three from both sides is equal to seven, that we know then that the general limit, the limit as x goes to three of this function x squared plus x minus 12 over x minus 3 is also equal to 7, which is what we wanted to solve.